What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today we have another Yu-Gi-Oh! collection video for you guys. We're going to be going through my ultimate rare cards that I have in this binder. Uh, yeah, I know, first off, I'm using a Pokemon binder for this Yu-Gi-Oh! collection video, but, I mean, come on. It has Eevee on the front, and it's a really cool binder anyway. I guess they got, like, the plain binders that Ultra Pro always has, and this one's awesome. They actually have a bunch of different Pokemon binders you can get. Unfortunately, nothing with Yu-Gi-Oh! Maybe that'll happen at some point. I, I don't know, but that'd be amazing if it did. But yeah, I knew you guys would get a kick out of that anyway. Uh, but uh, with this collection, of course, it's going to be a longer video because there's quite a few cards in this. I want to go through all of them, and I'll make sure you guys can see them a little bit better than you could in the Ghost Rare binder. Of course, it should be easier anyway because Ghost Rares are tough to see. And another thing, just like with the Ghost Rare collection, uh, I don't have all my Ultimate Rares in this, obviously, because like the uh, Numbers collection, for example, has some Ultimate Rares in it of some of my different cards, and I'm not going to move them back and forth between collections. So, yeah, just like with the Ghost Rare collection, same thing on that. But anyway, enough talk. Let's go ahead and get through these cards. We have quite a few to go through. I'm actually pretty proud that I have this many. First off, we have Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Really awesome looking. Before they stopped making Ultimate Rares, of course, there was a, you know, a few more sets for Art 5, but uh, Pendulum Dragon just looks awesome. Also, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, and Dark Magician, both of them look really cool too. They're in the Reloaded X, so they're not too tough to get, but I think in the future they'll be a lot tougher to get too. And of course, it's, it's Blue Eyes and Dark Magician, you know? <laughs> Instantly awesome no matter. We have two of Silver Sentinel, just one of my favorite older cards. I just think it has an awesome effect. Also, Quackamera Urnite, one of my favorite Quackameras. I mean, I still love using them, uh, and uh, they're still actually pretty powerful, so I wonder if they might get some new support. Then we have two Noble Knights here, two of Noble Knight Gwalchavad, and then one of Sky Scourge Invasil. Invasil is just an older Ultimate Rare, so it looks cool. And Noble Knights, you guys know, Dragoonities, Noble Knights, Elemental Heroes, I mean, those are some of my favorites. So I'm, I'm going to have Ultimate Rares of them if I can get them, right? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> no explaining needed on that. Even Kwaku Mirrors, you know, they're kind of, uh, they would probably be my fourth favorite. I need to do like another favorites list at some point. Maybe we'll do something like that. Anyway, we have a couple of Assault Mode cards, a Hyper Psychic Blaster and Red Dragon Archfiend. I'm uh, pretty happy with these two. I mean, they just look awesome. I love Assault Modes anyway. And Ultimate Rare versions of them make them look a little cooler. Dekoichi, that's another one that was pretty tough to find back then, too. First edition and everything. Remember when it was almost like a staple in a lot of different decks, too. There you go. Make sure you guys can see it. I know there's going to be a little bit of glare. They're in a binder, so I can only fight so much glare. Have uh, Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and Jack's Knight. They've been a little beat up because I've had them for quite a while, but, I mean, come on. They're still some of my favorite cards that Yugi has ever used, and they look awesome as ultimate rares. Have Phantom Dragon, Strong Wind Dragon, and Medulce Pudding Sis. Kind of a, a, a weird assortment, right, of those three. But yeah, all three of them just look awesome. Of course, I have Medulces too. A lot of Medulces are actually ultimate rare. So you could have quite a few of them if you're running Medulces. Have Gravy Rose, another Quacky Meru. So I just think that one looks cool too. It's, it's Rose Mod, basically from Digimon, so that's one of the reasons I like it. Also, Bone Crusher, we got that from a random pack opening recently. I think Gravy Rose was from the same pack opening, by the way. But yeah, I really like this card just because I, I love like the foil on it. Like, look, it has like a swirl pattern. Hopefully, the camera's doing justice for it. I don't know, but you guys can see like it has like a swirl sort of like shell pattern to it, and it just looks awesome. One of my favorite Ultimates just for that reason alone. It just looks cool. Have uh, Destiny Hero Dasher. I mean, come on, Destiny Heroes. Yeah, <laughs> looks cool on that. Easily going to be in this binder for that reason. Uh, then we have our different uh, Earthbound Immortals. Have uh, the Giant, because I'm too afraid to say his actual name. And then also, uh, same with the Lizard. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce their names correctly, so I'm just going to go with that. But I know the Lizard went up a price recently because of True Kings. I think it's gone down now at the time of this video. But either way, uh, the Earthbounds look amazing as Ultimate Rares. Also, Bamboo Shoot. <laughs> I just like that card. I actually have three of those, I think, still. Because I, I, they're pretty easy to get for some reason for me back then. Also, Quack and Maximus. And Value. Value is really special to me just because I remember when those were really expensive back then. When Black Wings were doing really well, I remember actually having a place that of Value. So even getting an Ultimate Rare one is uh, pretty amazing. Like I said, I know it's going to be a longer video because I'm kind of going through these cards a little bit more, but I hope you guys like that a little bit more, too. I don't know. You can tell me in the comments. Anyway, we have Rose Warrior Revenge. Remember having a playset of those. Uh, I don't know. I don't think they were all Ultimate Rares, but using that to bring out Stars Assault was pretty cool. Then a couple of Warrior of Atlantis. I have a feeling maybe this card will kind of come back at some point. I don't know. We're seeing a lot of different cards for Umi lately. Then, of course, Archfiend General. Basically the same effect as Warrior of Atlantis, just for Archfiends. I guess, was it Pandemonium? Yeah, Pandemonium with that one. Lucky Pied Piper, one Gemini cards. Also, Fusion Devour. This one, I feel like, could actually come back at some point. I always thought that it could be useful. That's the reason I've held on to it, too. And, of course, with its effect uh, going against Fusion Monsters, I feel like it could be useful, you know, in the future. So, maybe some kind of Fusion deck. This could be, like, a side deck card for you. I don't know. I just always thought it could be useful. Had Brother Firefist Bear, and uh, Space Time Police, and even Harpy uh, Chandler. 
So, all three of those, again, kind of weird assortment together, but all three really amazing looking. Life Force Harmonizer. This is actually a pretty good card against different burn decks out there, so that's kind of like a Fusion Devour, where it's like, you know, maybe one of these days we'll be able to use it, or it'll be like a good side deck card. I don't know, but it's just a cool card for that reason, too. Gold and Silver, or Silver and Gold, I guess I should say, since the order I have them in. Maximum Six. It's one of Joey's cards, so... Obviously, there you go. Joey's like my favorite character from the original series, so any card that he used, I definitely got to get, especially in Fire Rarity, it's possible. Arcana Force of the World. You guys know I love Arcana Force monsters, too. I just love their designs, and the world is probably the coolest looking one, especially first edition and everything, too. I'm pretty proud of having that one. Sacred Phoenix and Nethides. That's another one, too, that's awesome looking. I remember trying to get the, the different cards that were on the front of packs back then. Also have uh, Insector Gigamantis. I'm holding on to my Insectors lately, because I feel like maybe something could happen on them. I feel like they're a deck that could come back. Also, Legendary Six Samurai Inishi, and Earthbound Immortal Uru. I can actually say that one, or I feel like I can. Maybe I still mispronounced it. I don't know. But Six Samurais and Insectors, maybe they'll come back at some point. Have Frostosaurus. I think that one's really amazing, like, too. A normal monster like that. Then out towards we have Violet Witch. That's just cool looking, too. Uh, Quakimero Gugunjalit. Anything with Kakumaru's, like I said before. One of the Katakuris, Prophecy Destroyer, I mean, come on, he's like a Magic the Gathering artwork card. Uh, he looks awesome. Remember everyone thinking he was fake back then, too. So, it is cool having an Ultimate Rare version of him. Dark Nethides, anything that looks evil. I mean, it just looks so much better in Ultimate Rare. And, of course, my Blazing Butterflies. Like, I have all three of these. I feel like if Gemini's ever come back, I mean, I really do have a lot of Ultimate Rares for Gemini's. So, if it ever happens, I guess I'm ready. Have Dark Horus, then Ultimate Insect Level 1. Even a Volcanic Slicer. Volcanic's another thing. You know, if I can get Ultimate Rares of them, definitely try to get them. Especially because my brother loves Volcanic, so if I can get Ultimate Rare versions of them, I, I pick them up every time. Uh, Crow Sphinx. Also have uh, Huntsman Dark World, another one of Dark Worlds. Uh, Dark Soul, and one of the XX Sabres. Uh, I remember when he was really pricey, too. It's kind of like with Volume. It was around that time. And I think they, yeah, they actually got reprinted, I think, around the same time, too. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember both of them being very expensive, though. So I'm happy I have Ultimate Rares of both of them. Have one of the Majestic Mechs. Let's see, that one is Oka. Yeah, so that's an older one, too. It's a little beat up, but still awesome. Uh, Rim Painting Rhinos. I like this card, too, because look at that Ultimate Rare design. Like, it's like little circles. I don't know how to explain that. Hopefully, it's actually showing on camera, but uh, it just looks really cool. I don't know why the Ultimate Rare is a little different, but it looks awesome. Also, it works with columns, so I feel like maybe in the future that could be useful. Doom Shaman. This one's kind of a misprint in a way, just because the name isn't on there, too. I'll see it. Like, it was kind of faded, and that's how I got it back then. I mean, it wasn't like it was damaged or anything. So it's kind of a misprint, sort of. <laughs> it almost ended up, I guess, without a name. Have a Grand Mark. Any Monarchs, always awesome. Crusader of Indominion. That card's still pretty tough to find. Vanity's Ruler, I got that the other day, too. Vanity's Ruler, I got that, actually. I bought, like, a small collection of cards, and that was one of the cards in it. So I was really happy about getting that. Some of the Cyberdarks. I need to get the last one, too. What was this one I'm missing? I forget. Uh, Intellin, I think it's the name, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Uh, but yeah, I want to try to get them all because the new Cyberdarks that are coming out. Zombie Master, you guys saw that from a Tactical Evolution Special Edition opening recently. Uh, let's see, uh, Neo Spatial Grand Mole, uh, Braun, uh, Mad King of Dark Worlds, another Dark World for us. Yellow Baboon. Of course, uh, Doomfire, you guys know, like I said, Volcanics, so if I can get them as Ultimate Rares, I am. And uh, Doomfire, always had good luck getting that card. And also, we have Electro. I actually have two of these. I've heard that in Duel Links, this card is really good, too. But yeah, I heard it, it is really amazing in that game, so that's kind of funny. Then, of course, moving on to Synchro Monsters. First off, we have Stardust Dragon. Just like I'm happy about my uh, Stardust Dragon Ghost Rares that I have, I also have an Ultimate Rare, and man, am I proud of having all those. I mean, seriously, Stardust Dragon is one of my favorite cards, and it looks awesome. First edition, Ultimate Rare, just amazing looking. Also have my two Red Dragon Archfiends. Red Dragon Archfiend is probably my favorite of the Cyber Dragons, too. I don't know, it's tough to decide between Stardust and Red Dragon for me. Some days it'll be Red Dragon, some days it'll be Stardust, but I, I love this card, and I remember trying to get it back then. I actually got like one of these Ultimate Rares when it first came out, and being so happy about that. Then, of course, all these Doom Kaisers. <laughs> I have a lot of Doom Kaiser. It was around the time when I was doing that, like, hunt for uh, Ghost Black Rose Dragon, and it's like my spirit card from that set, from Crossroads, because I always got it for some reason, and <laughs> I don't complain about it either. I mean, it is amazing looking. Uh, Loki, I have one of the Polar Gods like that. Drive King Hades, Jump Berserker, always thought that was a cool looking card. Also, uh, Hunnily. Then uh, we have Golgar, one of the uh, alien monsters. Hunnily's pretty good, too, by the way. I know I kind of skipped over it, but seriously, that is a really good card to get, especially as an ultimate rare. And Clearwing, now this is another one I'm really proud of, because it's, it's uh, one of the last ultimate rares we can actually get from a main set. 
and especially in Clearwing like that is just epic. So I hope I can get a few more of these in the future, especially if I get a first edition one, I'll be really happy. But I'm still happy I got this one because it's freaking Clearwing. It's one of my favorite synchro monsters out there, and it's cool that it came out in a set that wasn't like 5Ds, you know? You, most of my favorite synchros were from 5Ds, so it's cool I actually got a new one that's good. Also, Exit Saber Gotham's. Metaphys Horus, I'm hoping the new support might help it out. TG Blade Blaster, looks like it's from like Code Geass or Gundam. Not really Gurren Logon, but that kind of reminds me of that too. So that's the reason I like TG Monsters. Trident and Dragion, I actually have two of these. And I remember when they were really pricey. I used them in uh, Dragoonies, or actually my first edition one, I used in Dragoonies back then. And you could just OTK your opponent so easy with that Dragoonity Stars Assault deck that I used to use. So it holds a lot of nostalgic value to me. Uh, let's see, Splendid Rose, just looks awesome. Cool looking Synchro. Uh, Moon Dragon and Sun Dragon. I love these cards. I wish they were Dark Synchros, though. I really wish we would actually have Dark Synchros. Hyper Psychic Blaster have the regular version with the Assault Mode. And then all the different Unicorns. We have Thunder Unicorn, Voltic Bicorn, and Lightning Tricorn. Those were pretty cool looking cards, too, back then. I have actually a playset of each of these. They're not all in the binder, but I feel like maybe one of these days they'll come in handy for something. I don't know. I, I just kind of collected them just because I don't know if they were... They might have been reprinted in the 5Ds Legendary Collection. I'm not sure, but Ultimate Rares, yeah. <laughs> They're really cheap, and I had to pick them up. Have a Scrap Dragon. I remember getting that one back then. Another one I'm extremely proud about having still, and it was really pricey back then, too, because that was basically a staple in most decks. Then, of course, we have a Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend. Uh, this is like Clearwing to me. Like, seriously, it's one of the last Ultimates we get, and it is amazing. One of my favorite new Synchros that we've had. The artwork, too, is just awesome. I mean, seriously, it's, it's a new Red Dragon. Have a Susano. I mean, Super Samurai. I, I didn't even know he was an Ultimate Rare for the longest time, so I, I definitely had to get one of those, and I was lucky enough to get that. We have Turbo Warrior, another one I just like because he's like that. Johnny Bravo hairdo, the Pompadour, I think it's actually what it's called. <laughs> Livestream Dragon, Thought Ruler, another one I remember getting back then, first edition. So I bought that one. I've used that for so many years now. Uh, Watt Chimera, Shooting Star Dragon, and Red Nova. Now these two are amazing, both first edition, so they just look awesome. Now we're moving on to our sea monsters. Let's see, first off we have uh, Lightning Chidori, one of my favorites from back then. Uh, let's see, Zenmeister, one of our first Xyz. So that looks really cool. Leo Arms, goes with Utopia, so I remember using that a lot. Uh, Thunder End Dragon, that was pretty good there for a while too, especially when Blue House was doing well. So it's still actually a really good Exceed. Uh, Stellar Knight Deltros, and also uh, Madolce Queen Tiramisu, I like both of these too. Especially, like I said, there's a lot of Madolces that are actually Ultimate Rares, and they look pretty cool. I have uh, uh, Satellar Knight Constellar Diamond, this is another one I'm pretty proud of just because it just looks awesome. And also, uh, let's see, this one is uh, Hero Fan of Prophecy, I think I pronounced that right, I hope I am. Anyway, this is kind of my spirit card though from, uh, what is it, Return of the Duelist? Yeah, it's Return of the Dull Sweats, yeah. <laughs> Man, it's just a card that I always seem to get from that set, and like I said, I'm definitely not going to complain about that, because that's awesome. And of course, like I said, I'm not going to switch them between binders over and over, you know, so these are basically extras that I have. So first off, we have number uh, C-102, number 91, and number uh, 53. So hopefully you guys can see those pretty well. I know there's a little bit of glare. It always is with the top row. It's hard to show that on camera. But yeah, they look really cool as ultimate rares. Have Insector Exostag. This is actually a pretty good card. I feel like it's going to come in handy in the future. Like, and like I said, definitely got to hold on to those Insectors. Now moving on, we have our two of Optimus Prime, basically, or I should say a Super Dimensional Robot Galaxy Destroyer. Really amazing looking card, and yeah, I always call him just Optimus Prime. Number 32, then a Gauntlet Launcher. Really great Xe Monster. I feel like it's underappreciated, but it is actually a really good one if you can go for rank sixes. Then, of course, Artorigus, a King of Noble Knights, because obviously Noble Knights. You got to have that. I wish I had a bunch of those, actually. And also number, uh, let's see, C-107, Neo Galaxy Eyes, so that's really cool looking. Two of Potomus, so I actually was lucky enough to get two of these. I, they're actually pretty cheap now, I feel like one of these days we might see it again. Have a number 46, um, Magister Paladin, the Ascending Draco Slayer, that's another card I feel like it's a really cool XC. Uh, Super Quantum Make Beast uh, Grand Pulse, that's one of the ones from the, let's see, this one is OTS pack, almost said Astro pack. But yeah, that's a pretty cheap one to get, and it looks awesome as Ultimate. I'm glad they chose it. We have a Divine Knight Felgrant, just like I have a Ghost Rare one, also have an Ultimate Rare one, and then also number 25, Force Focus. So a lot of numbers, actually. Moving on to our fusions. I'm going to have to go a little bit quicker, aren't I? We have Fright for Bear, two of Multipiece Golem. I just like those. We have uh, Gaia Drake, a Universal Force, and of course Gatlin Dragon, which is a fusion of uh, Barrel Dragon and Blowback Dragon, so I always thought that was cool. That was actually a fusion. Then, of course, uh, Super Vehicle Roid Jumbo Drill. Maybe come in handy in the future with all these new Roid monsters. Uh, Cyber Twin Dragon. That's another one I'm proud of. Infernoid uh, Terra. Then a Destiny in Dragoon. 
have uh, two of Supreme Arcanite Magician. This was actually pretty tough to get there for a while. Uh, Amaturo uh, Grand Neos. And then also a Twin Photon Lizard. That was pretty useful there for a little bit when we didn't have many Photon cards. And Ritual Monsters have a couple of Rituals. Two of Ruin, a Queen of Oblivion, Necros of Sophia, and then also a Sephira, let's see, a Sephira Queen of Dragons. So, yeah, I, like I said, I know I need to move on a little bit quicker, but I can't help it. There's a lot of nostalgia to this, too. I mean, they just all look so awesome like this. Especially older Ritual Monsters, they look cool. Right, so now moving on to our spell cards, we have Spell Calling. Pot of Iris, yeah, I know it's a little beat up, but it's still awesome. I wonder if we might see it again one of these days. Hammer Shot. I always love the artwork on that one, it just looks funny. Or, not too funny, I guess, for the goblins, though, right? <laughs> uh, let's see, Future Fusion and Machine Duplication. Those two I'm really proud of, because those are pretty tough to get. Cutting Six Samurai, always love the artwork of that one. Uh, Feather of the Phoenix, that's just a cool looking one, too. I always liked it, because I really like the pattern on it. Also have a Rank Up Magic Astral Force, XC Gift. Those two are pretty interesting. And Tuning. Now this one I'm really proud of too. And of course Mark of the Rose, which just looks awesome too. I always like the arc of that one. Now moving on to our trap cards. We have uh, Pulling the Rogue. I actually have two of them. I feel like that might come in handy in the future. Chivalry, of course you guys can see there too. Uh, damage Condenser. I love the lightning on that. That looks awesome. Converting Fire. Psychic Overload. I remember getting a lot of those back then, too. Like, that was the, the spirit card, I guess, that I had for Duelist Genesis. So, I, I used to have a bunch of it. I don't think I do anymore, but, uh, yeah, I've always kept it just because he looks awesome. Though. Thought Ruler like that. Uh, Blessing Fuse with Cannon Soldier on it. And also Rising Energy. Just older trap cards, really. And then, of course, I do have some OCG cards in this, and some of them are actually collector's rare, which is a rarity we didn't get, but they're basically, they look like uh, ultimate rares in a way, because they're kind of the same idea, so I thought I would include them in this binder anyway, just because they look awesome. So, this is actually a collector's rare, as you guys can see, one of the odd eyes. I don't know if you guys can really tell on camera, but it's it's kind of like more of a crackle effect of like the ultimate rare, if it makes any sense. Also, Tamias. Right next to it, the Knight of Tamias. You guys can kind of see it. It's, it's easier to see like on the edges. Again, it's, it's tough to show on camera. Five God Dragon is ultimate rare. Now, that one is really tough to get and one of my favorites. It looks amazing. I wish I had that like in English, too. Uh, we also have a Judgment Dragon. I don't have an English one, but I do have this one. This is actually Korean. It's a little beat up, but I remember I got it like for free for something. Like uh, I think someone threw it in, like a trade or something. So I I'm still happy about it because, I mean, come on. Judgment Dragon is ultimate rare. That's always cool. And then, yeah, just some different cards that we have, like Paladin, and, uh, of course, one of the Luna Lights. Let's see, what is that, Panther Dancer? Something like that, I think. <laughs> I think that's right. And then, of course, even a Link Monster. Link Monsters look really cool as Ultimate Rares. Super Samurai card. Uh, that was, like, one of their new uh, Synchros. Also, Necro Sophia. Then, uh, I forget the name of some of these others. I know we have Steam Healer, obviously. I mean, come on, that looks awesome. I got this one the other day, too. I think that one is uh, Arthur, like the Chaos version of him. He was in the, uh, what was it, uh, Superstars, I think, for us. So, it looks amazing in this rarity, too. That's a, like a collector's rare, like a secret rare sort of thing. So he's just really a, a cool looking sea monster. And then last but not least, I have my two Chaos Emperor Dragons, which both of them ultimate rare like that. They just look amazing. And yep, there you go. That is my uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Ultimate Rare Collection video for you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, sorry if it was a little bit long video, but I want to talk about each card, at least say the name of each of them, just because since it is a collection video, I wanted to make sure you guys could see each of them a lot better. And uh, I think it's a little bit more fun that way too, you know, because I mean, it is a collection video and we're trying to talk about each card that is part of that collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, and maybe you prefer that, actually, over me kind of just going through cards. I don't know. Just tell me in the comments, and, uh, of course, uh, if you have any ideas for future collection videos, let me know. I do have all my sneak preview cards, like a sneak preview collection. I could do maybe a video on that, and uh, a lot of other things, too. So, let me know in the comments what other collection videos you would like to see, or if you want to see some updates for different ones. And also let me know in the comments uh, what cards you guys are collecting out there. Maybe it's like a favorite archetype or a certain rarity or something like that. Just let me know because I'd love to hear what cards you guys collect as well as uh, hit that like button. It helps out a ton, especially show that you want to see more collection videos and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! collections, uh, openings, discussions, news videos, all kinds of stuff like that. And of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.